Let's talk to uh, our good friend, the Deputy Leader of Reform, uh, Mr Ben Habib. Ben, good evening to you, sir. Good evening, James and Ash. A pleasure to be with you. Well done. Well done to Reform. <laughs> Sad that you didn't get in, but, mm. you know, the voting system seems to be so messed up mm. that Reform got many, many more uh, votes than the Liberal Democrat and only five MPs. How on mm. earth can that be allowed to I carry on? To. I, I mean, there's something very wrong with the whole system. We got four million votes and five seats. The Liberal Democrats got 3.2 million votes and 72 seats. Yeah. The Tories, who got 6.8 million votes, I think, I'm going by memory, but I think that's about right, um, got 121 seats. You know, 24 times as many as we got for less than twice the number of votes. And, you know, we need to look at how that cookie crumbles. There's something not quite representative of the British people. Well, only and one in really five voted for Starmer, didn't they? So it just totally doesn't Absolutely. work. It doesn't work. And less people voted for Starmer this time than they voted for Labour in 2019. Yeah. And yet they've got this thumping majority, which I think was a reflection on a kind of pox on all of the above by the electorate. How but do you... We've sorry. got to have a system. That's a two-party yeah. system, so isn't it? Go on. Yeah. I was just right. going to say, we've got to have some mechanism yeah. by with which this is addressed. How do you feel you know? about the way the mainstream media portrayed reform, and in particular Nigel? Um, because after, after the voting was coming in, they couldn't help themselves. BBC, Sky, ITV, Channel 4. Channel 4 is such a bore. Yeah. Um, no. They couldn't help themselves saying, and after eight attempts, Nigel Farage has got himself a seat in Parliament. Well, I wonder how many attempts a lot of other people have. I tell you what, I, I tell you what, I love their rhetoric. Let them bring that rhetoric on. Four months ago, people were saying we're not going to get a single seat. And I kept saying we're going to get seats, we're going to get seats. Now we've got five seats. They're saying, oh, you've only got five seats. Mm -hmm. Even though we've got four million votes and we knocked the socks off many of the other parties, oh, you've only got five seats. Well, no. I tell you what, even without any electoral reform, Reform will prevail in the current electoral system. Well, the th yeah, we are going to use this staging post and we're going to build from will here. Will Tories defect, you think? Is five enough to, you know, entice a few Tories or in Richard Tories? You know, Ash, Ash, I couldn't care less whether they, they, they defect or not. We've got a five-year period now during which reform is going to use the bridgehead we've got and we're going to build this national movement and we're going to get more seats in Parliament Every by-election, virtually every by-election that takes place between now and 2029 is going to be won by Reform UK because the Conservative, the sorry, the Labour Party, so used to saying the Conservative Party, the Labour Party, who are in government, only beat us. Uh, uh, we, you know, we came in second place to ni in 98 seats where they had a marginal victory. Every by-election, you're going to see us pick up more mm. seats. And he wants to get and into 16-year-olds now. Uh, that, that might benefit yeah. you, it, it turns out. No. Yeah. 16-year-olds you know, really are too yeah. young to vote. Yeah, but they're changing to right-wing. This is why Starmer's mm. doing yeah. it. Can I just ask he, you this he, yeah. simple question? Yeah, then? sure. Are you racist? <laughs> you know, when I start speaking at rallies and events now, I ask the audience, are you extreme right-wing, xenophobic, racists? And I can tell you, believe it or not, no one puts up their hands. We're neither extreme right-wing, nor racist, nor xenophobic. My dad's a Punjabi, my mother's English, born in Isleworth. We're not anti-foreigners. What we are is pro-British. And, peop and people get those two positions confused. We represent not a right-wing alternative to the current left-wing orthodoxy, we represent a nationist alternative mm. to the current globalist orthodoxy, which is completely hijacked. They don't believe the it. They're class. smearing you, aren't they? I mean, what's going on with this Channel 4 guy? Who? What's going on with that investigation? Andrew Parker. Well, we've made complaints about, you know, what Channel 4 did and uh, the intermediary, I think it's called Leo Sorrell, that they in, uh, hired in order to you know, get this gotcha moment. And I don't want to say too much because I oh, think there's a police okay. investigation oh. and so on. But, you know, it, it is being taken very seriously at all levels. And what about... And Ofcom is having it investigated yeah. by barristers. Yeah. yeah. And what about the, the fact that some people who ended up 
standing for your party. Uh, as in other parties, this happened as well. But saying some of the most ridiculously stupid things, is it because you haven't really got the party machine operating properly? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, every one of the senior team in Reform UK would admit we've had to move at vast speed. And when you move at vast speed, you do make errors. But let me tell you, as you know, the current incumbent parties who've been in office for years and years and years have got a bunch of, uh, you know, bunch of prejudice. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, sorry, it is a racist, yeah. I mean, yeah, that, and it was very unfair the way it was reported. Yeah. And unfortunately, of course, we in the media are not supposed to take sides. But it seemed that the mainstream media had taken sides more than anyone else. Oh, yeah. Ben, we've got to go. I hear the music in the background, meaning the news at nine is coming up. Um, come on uh, Thanks, the ben. show again in the not-too-distant future.